Hi, I'm Mike Pruitt. I'm the Chief Program Engineer for the 20 model year Super Duty. And I'm standing right next to our new uh, F450 uh, equipped with a dump bed. But probably more importantly is our new entry into the, seg in the segment with our all new 7.3 liter gas engine. Uh, in this class, it's a dyno certification, but it delivers 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque, which is best in class and then as well as a payload of 12,750 uh, best-in-class payload in this segment. So we're really proud for the 7.3 liters and another addition. This is the same engine that's going to go into our medium-duty trucks, our F650 and our F750. So this, this new engine mated with the 10 speeds uh, is a fantastic drive. Um, it, it really helps find the right gear and deliver the torque and power that you need whenever you're doing work. So we put a lot of thought into this engine um, built from the ground up about making this a bulletproof, uh, keep it simple. You know, we went back to a cam and block design, with, so it's a push rod engine, a much smaller compact engine, um, fewer parts, and we wanted that commonality between ourselves as well as the medium duty truck and, and keeping that simplification for maintenance purposes. Very important to the fleet business. All right, what we're standing in front of today is one of the new 2020 model year F Super Duty trucks. I'm going to touch on a little bit about our incompletes or chassis cabs as we call them. To broaden the range of that chassis cab fleet, right, we started F350 with a single rear wheel combination. We run it up through 450, 550, which turned into dual rear wheel only. That GVWR ranges from 10,000 pounds, that's a single rear wheel F350, up to 19,500 pounds on our F550 series, right? So that hasn't changed in terms of our GVWR change. What has changed? So, that 6.8 liter V10 that you're all used to, that's dyno certed, that has been replaced by a 7.3 liter V8 engine. Right here again, dyno certed, but that replaces all of our 6.8 liter engines. And then we've made it to that, the replacement for the 6R140 that you're all used to with a new 10R. Right, so we have a new 10R transmission, torque shift transmission, that is applied to every chassis cab. All the way from 350 to 550, every one of those units now will have that 10 speed transmission. Right, whether you're with a, um, 6.7 liter diesel V8, right, which we've had before for quite a while now, or that new 7.3 liter, right, we've always got that similar power pack going through the lineup, right. We haven't changed any of our cab styles or trim offerings. We're still offered in regular cab, the most popular in the commercial realm, right, super cab, crew cab, none of those cabs have gained any length, right. Back in 17 model, we went to the all aluminum body, that's when all the cabs got bigger from the previous steel model year, right. So along those cab styles, bring in our trim levels. XL, still one of the high trim, uh, high trim options in the commercial world. XLT, right, across all cab styles still available. And even Lariat, right, don't let's forget, we still have a Lariat trim that we offer in the crew cab. Right, now along with that, what's some other improvements that we can get with the commercial vehicle that maybe shares with the pickup world? The new SYNC 3 system, not new to Ford, but new to Super Duty for this year. Right, our SYNC 3 version 2 is a, an upgraded system right, for that human machine interface that you can see in multiple products out there in the retail world. It's now available here in the Ford chassis cab. Along with that support, we still offer, as we did back in 17, that aux camera input, right? So on certain upfits, like maybe this toolbox here, or there's a dump truck across the way, you can mount that camera at the back of your unit to give you that rear backup visibility, which we all know doesn't come standard on an incomplete chassis, right? Because we just got bare frame rails back there. So highest level, right? That takes us on some of the roundabout information of what makes a 2020 Ford Super Duty chassis cab, that uniqueness, right, from the outgoing product. Now some other similarities, because we're getting a film here, we're touching on it, right? All new grill, new headlamps, new front bumper with a different uh, airflow bumperette, we call it, right? So those are some of the cues from the front of the truck. On the pickup truck, you'd notice the back of the truck, the tailgate, the lamps, right? We don't have any back of the trucks here, really, so they still got these chassis cabs, whatever you guys choose to do with it. Um, and for the most part, it's going to round out kind of the new content for 2020 model year Super Duty incomplete commercial vehicles. So, I mean, one of the, one of the key maintenance is uh, on a 7.3 liter, right? One of the key points is, man, it's easy to work on, right? If we were to pop the hood, you could take a look, right? It's so much easier than 6.7 liter, right? We've got good visibility, right? Everything's rather exposed for us. It's available in a single auto or dual auto configuration. It's available in a single battery, dual battery configuration. But in terms of just working on a straight V8 engine, right? That layout's very going to be very familiar with your technicians and how they worked on the previous fleets, right? So not a huge jump from the architecture, if you would, to the layout of a 6.2 liter, which is still offered over in the pickup world 
world, but no longer is available in our chassis cab world. So in the commercial world, it's a little bit balanced, right? We've got the customers who want more power, but they always want to have, you know, dependability, reliability, and keep the maintenance costs down, right? Because when it comes to those fleet customers, it is about longevity of the product, right? They're making an investment. This investment makes them money every day that it's out there, and when it's not out there, it's not making them money. So definitely in terms of reliability, right, serviceability, and maintenance uh, is always key aspects as we keep delivering improved powertrains and the truck itself overall, right, in terms of dependability. Uh, it's a huge factor with our fleet customers. Safety. So chassis cabs don't have adaptive cruise control, right? They don't have 360 camera. Those are some of the features that we have on the pickup trucks, right, to help us out with that, right? So new for 2020, uh, the Super Duty chassis cab or incomplete does offer a lane departure warning system. It generates and warns the customer with an audible technology versus in the retail pickup segment, a tactile vibration in the steering wheel. Um, so the, the necessities that the truck utilizes on the pickup side, which is our electric over hydraulic steering system to generate that haptic feedback, we surpass that and we substitute it, if you would, with a audible chime that the driver can hear, uh, utilizing the same camera technology to map out the lanes and detect a drift uh, or exiting of the lane. So in, in one regard, right, in terms of uh, you don't need to have navigation, right? Now that cell phones and uh, let's say smartphones are so popular, Sync 3 comes standard with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, right? You can download Waze. So, right, the truck now allows you with that system to be compatible with those types of apps, right? So no longer, there's no investment for navigation, number one. Number two, it's based on the familiarity of the app or that you're using, if you would, right, with your driver itself or with the owner, however that wants to work. So there's some advantages there, right, just to being familiar with the technology you use every day in your personal car, you bring it over to your truck right away and it's simple plug and play.